Who is Samuel Plimsoll and what is he remembered for? Who was Samuel Plimsoll? Well, he was a member of parliament in England back in the 1800s. And he's remembered for many things, but the most important one is something he did that caused him to become known as the sailor's friend. You see, he was very concerned for the sort of things that were happening in shipping around the world, particularly ships setting out from England. A lot of them were setting out and going overseas and picking up all sorts of goods and bringing them back to England. But in many cases, they were overloaded, which meant things were rather dangerous for the sailors. Imagine this is a ship setting off to bring back some goods from overseas. And we load it up with uh, spices and salt and all sorts of other goods from the Indies. And look what happens. It sinks down further and further. Well, everybody knows that, of course. But what some of the merchants who owned the ships said was fill up that ship as much as you can. They gave those instructions to their captain and of course it sank further and further into the water. And if they happened to come to a storm on the way back to England, you can guess what may have happened. Have a look at that ship now. If it comes across a storm, a few waves and down to the bottom it goes, which wasn't very pleasant for the sailors. A lot of them lost their lives. And so Samuel Plimsoll managed to put through Parliament an act which was called the Merchant Shipping Act, and it said a number of things. One of them was that every ship setting out from England must have on the side painted a very special mark, a circle with a line going through it, and that became known as the Plimsoll mark. There it is. And that was positioned very carefully, and of course its position varied on the size of the boat and the weight of the cargo that it was allowed to carry, but the rule was this, no boat was allowed to be loaded in such a way that it ever sank below the Plimsoll mark. So in this case, when the ship went overseas and filled itself with cargo, certainly it would sink into the water, but as soon as that Plimsoll mark was reached, that was the limit for that particular ship, and it could not be loaded past the Plimsoll mark. If that did happen, there was trouble. Now, that was the Plimsoll mark, and if you have a look at them on the side of ships, you may see other marks as well. For example, on this one, the LR stands for Lloyd's Register, an insurance company which insures ships. The other marks and letters allow for the fact that ships will sink further into fresh water than salt water and also further down in warm water than cold water. So TF stands for tropical fresh water, F for fresh water, T for tropics with salt water, S for summer, W for winter, and the lowest line, WNA, winter North Atlantic. Ships in the 20th century are much safer than they were in the 19th century. And one of the reasons is because of the work done by Samuel Plimsoll, the sailor's friend. Thank you.